A recent article published by the BBC has sparked a heated debate among cryptocurrency enthusiasts and critics regarding the environmental impact of Bitcoin mining. Uh, the piece titled, Every Bitcoin Payment Uses a Swimming Pool of Water, raised concerns about the water consumption associated with the mining process. Uh, however, critics argue that focusing solely on per transaction values fails to capture the complexities of the system and the true drivers of energy and water consumption. This disagreement highlights a fundamental question. Do the costs of BTC mining outweigh its benefits? Uh, the BBC article in question references a commentary published in Cell Report Sustainability, an opinion piece rather than a peer-reviewed study exploring sustainability-related issues. Uh, the author, Alex DeVries, employed indirect estimates and assumptions to calculate water consumption and energy usage in Bitcoin mining operations. Uh, so one of the main uh, network, uh, the main contentions arises from using a per transaction value to estimate water consumption and energy usage. And critics argue that this approach fails to acknowledge the attribute nature of the Bitcoin system where transactions do not directly drive energy consumption or water usage. Uh, instead, miners are primarily incentivized by potential rewards, consisting of newly issued Bitcoin and transaction fees. Uh, and furthermore, critics argue that BTC transactions occurring off the blockchain should be considered part of the system's use. Excluding these transactions skews the ratio of environmental costs to system to use. Uh, Co-founder of CH4 Capital, Daniel Batten, recently expressed his views, highlighting the change in narrative and mainstream news channels reporting on Bitcoin's environmental, social, and governance attributes. Um, traditionally, Bitcoin was portrayed as an energy-intensive asset with negative environmental implications. However, reputable sources uh, such as the Financial Times, Bloomberg, and The Independent have published independent research this year that challenges this narrative. Uh, Batten suggests that these reports demonstrate the potential for BTC uh, to enhance the profitability of renewable energy sources and expedite the transition to a more sustainable energy landscape. Uh, um, to comprehend Bitcoin's environmental impact, it is crucial to consider its uh, energy consumption and the sources of that energy. Well, BTC mining does require substantial computational power. Recent studies uh, have indicated that the cryptocurrency predominantly relies on sustainable energy sources. And the contrary to earlier claims of Bitcoin's heavy reliance on coal, Batten points out that hydroelectric power plays a significant role in meeting energy demands of the BTC network. Using stranded and wasted hydropower, Bitcoin mining presents an opportunity to make productive use of energy that would otherwise go untapped. Uh, one of the key arguments put forth by Batten is that BTC's uh, utilization of renewable energy sources aligns with ESG principles. By incentivizing the profitability of renewable energy, Bitcoin has the potential to drive greater investment and adoption in sustainable power generation. Uh, and this in turn can contribute to reducing carbon emissions and promoting a greener future. Batten's viewpoint suggests that Bitcoin's role in the energy sector extends beyond being an energy consumer, positioning it as a catalyst for positive change. Uh, Batten criticizes the recent BBC article on BTC and um, water consumption, highlighting what he perceives as journalistic laziness in failing to research the sources and their motivations thoroughly. Uh, uh, Batten questions the credibility of Alex DeVries, the central figure behind the study reference in the article, and suggests that the metrics used to measure Bitcoin's water environment, energy consumption, or flow um, overall the concerns raised by the BBC article regarding BTC mining's environmental impact should be critically examined. Um, it is necessary to differentiate uh, between opinion pieces and peer-reviewed studies to consider the overall uh, benefits and potential of a decentralized financial system. Uh